So let's say that we're here on Earth, and we want to measure the size of an object in the sky. So notice that from an observer's point of view, a larger object even further away will seem to make the same, will seem to have the same sort of size. So maybe we could say that for an object, it creates some angle in the sky, and we'll call this alpha. This alpha is called the object's angular size. And the common units for this are radians, degrees, and units of arc. And I'll explain those in a second. So um, one radian, um, a full circle, right? Um, the full angle around a circle is 2 pi radians. One radian is equal to 57.296 degrees. One degree, and now we're going into units of arc, one degree is equal to 60 arc minutes, which is represented by this notch here. And then one arc minute is equal to 60 arc seconds. So if you wanted to go all the way from the top to the bottom, um, one radian is equal to 206265 arc seconds. So let's say we're here on Earth, and we want to actually measure the full diameter of the Sun. How would we do that? Um, the way we do this is through something called the small angle formula. So we can start with the equation for arc length, which is L equals theta R, where R is the distance to the object, L is the size of the object, and theta is the angle that it traces out in the sky. So essentially, um, we can find, if we know the angular size of the Sun, we can find its diameter this way, because we will get some angular size, and we know that the distance to the Sun is one astronomical unit. Since this theta is going to be so small, um, we can approximate this arc of a circle as what is essentially going to be a straight line. So we can approximate it as such. The actual linear size of the Sun is going to equal the distance to the Sun multiplied by its angular size. Now this angular size needs to be in radians. Now let's actually do the math here. The size of the Sun is going to equal 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters, which as you remember is 1 AU. We will then multiply that by the angular size of the Sun, which is equal to 1920 arc seconds. And then to convert to radians, we simply divide by 206265. So if you do the math, um, you should get that the size of the Sun, the diameter of the Sun, is equal to 1.39 million kilometers. In the next video, we're going to get into some theory where, where I discuss Copernical astronomy. I hope to see you there.